Hey, this is Owen from Apps Amateurs, and today I'm going to review the app builder from AppMaker.com. I'm going to outline some of the unique features and what I like and dislike about the website. Firstly, the ability to use user generated content. The app allows users to upload their own images and icons if they choose to do so, um, which helps to personalize the app that you are creating. This particular app builder focuses around the sourcing of other social media and connected imagery. RSS feeds are fairly easy to implement if you have the URLs that enables you to use them. In my example, I implemented my Twitter and Facebook pages. You are also able to add photo albums, sort of like a Flickr feed, uh, message boards to interact with users, and even create a static website if you're able to use HTML. If you have the skills, you are able to add CSS or JavaScript coding to the tabs if you want to make things look even more impressive. The downside to this particular app builder, however, is that as you can see, while you're a sourcing user of generated content, which is then sort stored within the app, you would need to know, firstly, know how to code in HTML or CSS to take advantage of the many be benefits that the builder offers. Um, while you could make a very basic application, such as what I have done, where you're just sourcing various RSS feeds, that doesn't look particularly great. And therefore, if you, it is better suited to more skilled programmers who want to pull together pre-existing content that they have already created for their website or business. This is further demonstrated by the fact that the app is actually unable to be created unless you have an Apple developer account, which costs around $99 a year. Um, providing this isn't something that should be used for real amateurs or beginners uh, who just want to dabble or try to get into apps, you may be better off trying a simpler and easier uh, to use solution. This has been a review of AppMaker.com for Apps for Amateurs.